service. So now we have a website that looks great on desktop, but we also wanna make sure that it looks great on mobile phone screens as well. So we wanna make sure to look at each of our pages and make sure it's optimized for a smaller screen size. So let's start with the homepage. Let's go back to the WordPress dashboard, click on pages, and then look for the homepage here. Let's click on edit with Elementor. And then here we wanna go down to the left and click on responsive mode. This will open up this tab here at the top where you can change how your website will be displayed. Now we're on the desktop view, we can change to the tablet view and then also to the mobile phone view as you can see here. And right off the bat, we can see that we need to do some changes here so that it looks great on a smaller screen size as well. So we're gonna start here for the tablet view and what I notice is that text is a lot, uh, is way too big. So I'm gonna click on the pen icon here and then under style, I'm gonna go to typography and then just decrease the text size a bit, maybe kind of like this. And then here I also need to change the line height. So for the line height, I'm gonna go down to something like this. And that already looks a lot better. That text is fine. That image is fine as well. And when we scroll down, we have the blog posts here. That looks all good. So we're already done with the tablet version. Then let's move on to the mobile phone version. Here we can see the text was now also changed. The size was taken from the changes we've done on the tablet view. So the changes are kind of trickling down from desktop to tablet to mobile phone. But everything we change on, let's say on tablet, it doesn't affect the, the desktop version. So you don't need to worry, you can change the sizes, the gaps and everything. Um, also on mobile phone, this won't affect the tablet version. So here, the mobile phone version looks quite good actually, so we don't need to do a lot here. But what we notice is that the logo is kind of too large and kind of pushes the menu link here to the bottom. So we need to take care of the header and we can't actually do that here in Elementor. We need to do that in the WordPress customizer. So let's click on update to save the changes. And then let's go to our website and click on customize, then click on header, mobile menu. And then here we can add a separate logo for the mobile version, which is what we wanna do. So let's click on select image. Then I'm gonna choose one of the images of the logo. So I'm gonna choose this one here, choose image. And then for the maximum height for the logo, I'm gonna change this to 35 pixels. And now when we click on publish, and then go back to Elementor in the phone portrait mode. Then when we click and reload the page, we should see that the logo size has now changed. We actually need to go back to responsive mode, click on the mobile phone screen, and there we go. Now we can see the logo is smaller. So another thing you can do to see if the logo works is you can open up your website on your mobile phone and then just play around with this value here, the logo maximum height. Um, and make sure you enter an amount or a value that will end up in the logo looking great and not pushing away this menu here. And then there's a few more changes I wanna do to the mobile menu, which is I wanna get rid of the text here. I just wanna have this hamburger icon. So I'm gonna deselect the display menu text and then when we click publish and reload here, responsive mode, click on the phone screen, then we can see the menu text is now gone. And I also want to, for the hamburger button, I wanna change from default icon to 3DX because I think that's a, a nicer uh, animation design and click publish. And then the last thing I wanna also do is get rid of the search function. So when we click on the menu here, we can see that there's a search bar and we I wanna get rid of this. So I'm gonna deselect the mobile menu search, and then again, click publish, then to see if it worked, reload the page, go to responsive mode and click on the mobile phone screen. Again, this would be faster if you just use your phone and then reload the page there so you can see the changes. And now you can see the search bar is gone. And that's already it for the homepage. It now looks good on every screen size that we have. Now we wanna go back to the dashboard and also look at the other pages. So let's go back here 
And the next page we're going to look at is the about page. So let's click again on edit with Elementor. And then let's go to responsive mode, go to the tablet first. And I think this looks fine. We can actually make this um, a bit wider here for the tablet screen, kind of like this. That looks good. Image size is good as well. Let's go to the mobile portrait mode. Text looks good. Um, heading looks good. And here I noticed the image is a bit too small. So let's just click on the pen icon here, go to style, and then let's go to width and then change the width just a little bit so we can increase the image size. And maybe let's go back here and maybe increase the image size here as well a bit. Let's go to width and then do it like this. And that's everything we need to do for the